Hi everyone. Um, right, I thought with just doing that beautiful flower, we'll actually do a canvas for it, haven't we? And have that as the main flower. Now I've managed to uh, find one of the um, frames in brown, so that saves me painting it. I've got a couple of the big diamonds. I've got some textured mix here, it's mini text, textured paste, and it's for doing units. Now, if you remember, I'm doing this one, um, which is the shadow box. So I covered this shadow box with that texture, and I'm sure you can see it. Well, we're going to be doing that shortly, uh, but for now, I'm just going to cover my board. I've got an A4 size chipboard here, and um, I've got flowers, because I'm going to have like a flowered background but for now well i might have all sorts on it i'm not sure i'm not going to paint this i just basically i'm not going to paint the board i mean first and i'm not going to seal it with anything i do want this to soak in so i'm just gonna put this on we can dry this with the um heat gun that's no problem i'm not putting it on too thick i just want the textured background And these are so quick and uh, sorry if you can hear my stomach, but I'm I'm rumbling. I'm hungry. Um, but the, these are so quick, uh, easy to do. There's no perfectionist work on it whatsoever. We I don't do that. I just have a picture in my head, gather my materials up, and if I haven't got them, make them whatever. But these are really simple, but very effective tutorials that I do to help the, even the beginner and I'm not sure if I can get this all or I can uh, you know for the beginner you might only be a beginner but try something like this and you'll be surprised you'll end up looking like a professional <laughs> and it's true a lot of people say they didn't believe they could do anything like this and um, but because I show it the simple way their artwork is amazing. It's amazing their friends and their families. And I'm not blowing my own trumpet or anything. I'm just showing you. I just basically show people the easiest way to craft. But have a fantastic result. And you know, not many crafters will show you their techniques and things like that. Always make sure you've got a brush you can dabble with. That's why I call it dabbling. So that's all I'm going to do with that for now. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. Oh, I better move it actually because I knock it off. It'll go all over my carpet and I don't want that. There we go. Pop that in the water. Uh, and all I'm going to do now is take the uh, heat gun to it. And it won't take long to dry. But it's more, it's like a, a mortar texture, uh, you know, so bricks and mortar texture. Uh, so it's quite sandy. Now you could do this yourself. If you've got some um, flour and water and you mix it together um, and you add sand, you've got your own medium. You don't need to buy one. You know what I mean? You could make your own. You could make, look, it's turning it brownish as well. That's fantastic. It's because it's going to get sprayed anyway. But yeah, flour, water, mixed together like a, um, how can we put it, a very pliable dough. Well, you want it like a paste, sorry, not dough. Um, and then add your sand. And you've got your own. I would add a little bit of glue in it, which will bind it all together.
see the texture showing through, can't you now? There. Hopefully that is dry enough. Right, so we've got that. I'm not sure what way around to have it. I might do that. Because look at that. It's just fantastic, that flower. Absolutely amazing flower. So I might just do mine like that. So what I'm going to do, basically is colour the um, background first. Now, I need, I haven't got my big uh, tub, or have I? No. So I might have to do it this way. Yeah. So I'm just using the Adirondack colours. I absolutely love these. I've, you know, I say it all the time. Like that. Swing that board around. Take the opposite colour. These two colours blend well together. Yeah, I like that. I'm just going to put a bit on that end. I like that. Take that off, and we're just going to dry this again. Let me move my bits out of the way because they're getting coated in spray. Um, we'll just dry this off. They just gel well together, the colours.
looks fine. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start by putting on the flowers. And my main flower is this one that I've just done. It doesn't matter about the colour underneath because I like it with colour showing. That's how it should be. Um, and I'm just going to glue mine on. I can get my glue gun to work. <clears throat> so I'm just going to spread it about quite a bit to catch all the petals. And pop that right there. I'm going to press that down into there, but then just bring that back up. Isn't that stunning? Gorgeous. Uh, now I'm going to fix this on. And I'm going to do it that way, I think. Hopefully that's enough. Let's hold that down a bit. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to get some bits that I missed. And I've got some of these that I cut off them flowers. So I do want to put some of these on. my glue gun please stop playing up just pop that in there let me just see if I can get this glue stick out and uh, change it Ugh. it's really hard sometimes to get these out that's better it just goes a bit skew -iffy. Okay, right, here we go. Let's get another one of these. So I'm going to pop that like that. And I do want the same here at the bottom. I'll just take that under there like that and I am going to seal this when it's done like that just put that away now what I'm going to do at the moment is just try and fill it in a bit with some of the flowers I have and I've got these, again, they're um, just silk flowers. And they were taken from uh, a batch of flowers that I bought. But don't worry about the colour. They're not staying like this. I just want the style of flower in my... Um, canvas. Like that. And then I have some of these. I love these paper ones. I'll just take them off. I'm just going to put it like that. Put 
one here. I've got the old, let me just see. No, not those. Got like the old English flower, the rosy one. I'm just going to pop in there. Again, these were, you know, just taken off the, um, I bought some, uh, what they call material flowers. And they're fantastic, because you can get some beautiful flowers. So we're just going to pop that in there. Get different sizes, you see, and they come like that. So, I mean, I like that as a bunch, so I might just pop that in. As a bunch and pop that just in there like that I uh, just love them they look fantastic when they're colored and that's what we're going to be doing is coloring them so that's those I don't want to do too many it's got um Another little rose that I want to use. Which is this one. And I'm going to pop that just in there like that. I love flowers and I like to see a lot of them. And then I've got some smaller roses. <coughs> Just taking the wires out. If you can't get them out, cut them out. I'm just going to put one there. And one there. Now, you can still see the greenery, which is great. I might put a little bit more in. I'm not sure at the moment. Now, what I'm going to do here is do a cascading one here. Um, and for that, I'm going to use this type of rose, the ones I've just taken apart. Like that so I need my scissors just to cut that oh, my glue gun's run out already look see no wonder I got some through so much glue so what I'm going to do is just pop that one kind of like there Don't worry about the colour or anything like that. That's all going to be changed. Um, let's take a couple of these. Oh, let's get my scissors again. Right, I'm just going to put one there. Take one of these. Put one there. We're just going to take one of these and 
And let's just see what we've got here. Yeah, me likes that. Like that, like that. I might do another one coming out of here. Like that, that's great, love that. Another one there. This one in the top corner. And we take one of these. I'm going to push that there. And I've got a couple of these little filler ones. One's going to go there. This one's going to go in there, like that. I'm going to have another one in there, like that. I just want it like cascading over there. I uh, might need to get a couple more of these. I've got glue all over. <laughs> it's everywhere, these strands I mean. <laughs> Get out! My god, it's everywhere. Right, so what I'm going to do is just... Fill this in here. And I like the idea that the little ones hide, kind of. it's like a hint of something that you want to see like that so just pop that in there really pretty I do like that um I do have to have a couple more and some smaller ones One there. Let's pop one there. One in there. And one just here. Like that. I need to get rid of all the strands now. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm just going to show you that. That's what we've got so far. Now what I need to do now is uh, I'm going to come back and show you the rest of it because my camera's running out. So I'll speak to you all shortly. Take care. Bye-bye for now.